I really feel obligated to pay my respects before I start talking my stuff to El Gran Maestro, Arturo Schoenberg, a great Puerto Rican patriot who at the turn of the 1900s was one of the great leaders of our country for liberation. And he came here to preserve part of the treasures that he had gathered that could not be fulfilled there in terms of academic structures for all the literature he had gathered because the racism inherent in our society permeated the independence movement just like it did the rest of the society. And so he migrated here and gave us this beautiful uh, inheritance that we, we all benefit from. And the other thing I'd like to uh, preface my comments with is saying that I felt while I was watching the movie again, like, have you ever been to a party and uh, People are at a party and they're taking pictures of each other and then they're looking at them as they're taking the pictures of themselves in the party. And I've always thought, wait a minute, you're enjoying the party. Why are you taking pictures of yourself, <laughs> right? Enjoy it and then remember it, right? So the reason I'm telling you that, which is not a very pleasant thing, I'm making a judgment about that, is that when I was watching this, I was saying, but wait a minute, this movie is 40 years old about a period four years ago, and I feel it like it was this morning. I saw myself in there, and I thought, oh, my God, I know that feeling. I know, I know exactly what was going on. And, and I say that to you as, as part of my comments, which is we're not here, this is not a requiem. We're not here to talk about something that is past and dead. Mm-hmm and happened. Mm -hmm. We're Puerto Ricans and we're still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are many lessons, many lessons of the young Lord's experience. And I welcome people to, to like Johanna, who, who got curious about it, and now she's writing a book about it. Uh, and she's from the younger generation, you know, because basically, what brought about the Young Lords was not only the 1960s. It was our history. It was our history going back to the Tainos. It was our history going back to the Yorubas who were kidnapped from Africa and brought to the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. It was centuries, centuries in the making. The Black Panther Party did not drop from the sky. The Young Lords Party did not come out of the sea. It was a history of many generations. And that's one thing that we have to, you know, reckon whenever we have a, a, a victory. It was our tradition. It's in our DNA. It is who we are. You see? And we said, pick up the garbage. We're not garbage. Why are you treating us like garbage? So we heard what the people, when you lose that relationship, both sides lose. The organizers are talking to themselves, and the people are, I don't know, they're talking to themselves or watching TV. Novelas. Novelas. <laughs> so I, I say, let's get back to that basic talking to people. So, you know, we, you know, as, as uh, Iris indicated, we did organize within around broad issues, but within our particular spaces. So we did have high school students organizing. We did have high school dropouts organizing. We, you know, we, we worked with whatever individual strengths we had. We had college students. We had um, single mothers. Um, we had the whole spectrum of our community in terms of you know the 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 young, and I say that I stress the age and I stress you know the the, the youngness because I think it's important to to recognize that particularly those of you that are you know very young, that 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 is not anything that should stop you. 